Hey everybody, John here. Today we're going to be walking through this patch I made called Dissonant Death. It's really the only way I could uh, describe it, but yeah, so this is what this sounds like. All right, so let's dive into this. Um, first things first, before we get into it, on the uh, on the channel itself, we have an EQ and a limiter. So let's first take off the EQ. I have the limiter just, just in case uh, it doesn't go too over things. It's actually a compressor, but it says limiter. Uh, if you click here, you can change it back and forth. But anyway, so we have stuff on the main tab. We basically have our unison. So let's turn this off for this demonstration now back to one. We were at nine. So... Let's talk about our first operator. So our first one is going to our filter and let's mute everything else. You can mute it by right clicking them. So this first operator sounds like this. So kind of a boring kind of saw wave, right? But the magic really is, is with this unison setting at nine. Kind of puts a little of the icing on the cake. We'll get to that in a moment, but so operator one really just has the volume envelope that's kind of kind of basic here. And then I modulated the phase with an LFO. And that's pretty much what this operator does by itself. So let's look at number two. So number two is also going to the fil same filter, so we'll talk about that filter as well. So operator two is going to filter one, which is going to our output. So let's go and filter one. So this has got line pass two and number one X. And then the envelope has kind of, I dropped down the influence of the envelope as well and brought up the cut. And then the resonance is maybe like 45. And the reason because of that is I didn't want the envelope or this LFO to really affect it that much. I kind of want it to be more of a subtle type of thing. That's what you're seeing right up here. And then on this uh, operator two, we have a, a volume envelope, but it's kind of different from the first one because I didn't want them to be the exact same, kind of come in at different times. And then this one, I also dropped down one octave to kind of give it that. That kind of full sound to it. So mute operator one again. And that's pretty much all I did to this one. Yeah, that's pretty much all I did to this one. So let's jump into number three. So number three is kind of the characteristic of it as well, and that's going to the effect. So number three is this one. And there's a couple things happening on this one as well. The first thing you'll notice too is that slide. So that's done on the main tab. We have to check Porta. And then the next thing we have to do, this is kind of a citrus thing, but in the pitch category here under the envelope, you'll see this line I have here. So we have to make sure our envelope is enabled. And then we have one starting dot, another dot, and then the third dot. So in the middle one, you're gonna have to right click this and make sure it's set to decay. And this distance here is gonna deter determine your glide time. So if I had it kind of like, a little bit longer or really long so you can hear that right there and in, adi in addition to pitch I have a pan with an or a LFO so it's kind of moving back and forth between the stereo field to give it kind of some motion some character to it and you can also see that here on the meters and then next up, the volume envelope comes in a little bit later than the uh, the first operator and the second operator. So it's not as right in your face when it first starts off. And then I kind of have it tailing, tailing off kind of somewhat quickly because this type of sound can get kind of annoying. And then uh, that's kind of really all that this one's doing. It is going through some effects as we see here. 
and I really only have delay. I turned our chorus down to zero. The first delay is on serial, so this one's getting fed into the next delay. And the timing, I did two or four on this one, and then two on the second one, as you can see there. And then kind of just messed around with the volume to what I felt was right. This one, the first delay is a little bit more stronger, and I brought the volume down a little bit of the second one. And I love ping pong. That's just kind of a personal thing. So I put ping pong on this one, and then the, the next delay is inverted. And that's really all the effects for this whole patch. The The third operator is the only one using this, as you can see here. And now the fourth one, as you can see for this is going to, where are we? Filter two, it's going out. So the fourth one is just noise. That's a slider all the way up here. It says NS, it's all the way up. So now we have a, a noise oscillator. And the envelope is kind of basic. It's just kind of there to fill up the whole patch to kind of cover all the ground as much as I could. And then I'll cut later with the EQ as we'll see. But that's really all this one's doing. Um, I forgot to talk about the pitch on the third one. That's up 16 and I have a little extra detuning here just so it's not exactly the same. And then last but not least, operator five, which is five, where are we? Oh, just going out to the output. So this one's really basic. It's just a, it's just a sine wave. It's up another octave up from uh, operator three. And it's kind of just there to complement operator three's kind of whistle droning kind of tone. So if we turn these both on, so it's just another octave up kind of just working in tandem with that one. It just has a volume envelope and that's basically it to this one. And if we have everything on here, and listen to this. It's got most of the stuff to it, but then this is now where we go into our main tab and then mess a little bit with the, uh, with the unison. So I had this cranked up to nine, and it makes this difference. So a couple things to talk about this. So we obviously have nine voices. I have the pan, it was 84%, the uh, the unison volume 75. The pitch is kind of determined on the patch and I put this one to 78. Nothing with the uh, with the sub level here, but this is this phase, uh, the unison phase is definitely a cool slider that I don't think you should really overlook because it adds a lot of characteristics to the, a lot of the partials. So we'll kind of demonstrate what that sounds like. So this is at 77, this would be zero. And that's kind of the uh, all the work that we uh, that I did in Citrus, and then next on or next off, we have uh, an EQ going through here. So here's the difference with the uh, the EQ on and off. And basically, as you can see, I cut off some of the low end a little bit. I did want to keep some of it too, and then I cut some of the low end mids. That's kind of just muddy and kind of cluttering some of the stuff up, and then brought some of the high end kind of sparkle to it. So here's it without the EQ. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Uh, it does kind of have a lot going on. I used five operators, two filters, and the effects. And that's, yeah, that's that in a nutshell. I hope you learned something. If there's any questions about this patch or anything like that, uh, please let me know. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.